Hello, welcome to another exciting week of music tops. Are you ready to get started? Let's see what's in envelope number one. Our pink envelope with our yellow number and inside we have I'm a little teapot. Get ready to do some actions. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here's my handle, here's my spout. When I get all steamed up, hear me shout. Tip me over and pour me out. Fantastic, well done. Let's see what's in our yellow envelope, number two. Here we go, in number two, we have it's the Grand Old Duke of York. Are you ready to do some marching? Oh, the Grand Old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. Fantastic. Let's have a look in our orange envelope, envelope number three. Now this is the one you need an instrument for. So if you've got an instrument, get it. If not, you can do the actions or you can clap your hands. Our song is one, two, three, four, five. So if we're doing the actions, it's like this. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish alive, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. What finger? So if you've got an instrument, get it. If not, you can clap your hands or do those actions. I'm going to use a cast net. One, two, three, four, five. One cycle to fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I let it go again. Why did you let it go? Because it bit my finger so. Which finger did it bite? This little finger on my right. Oh, poor finger. Well done, everybody. Instruments down. And we'll move on to envelope number four. This is our blue envelope. What's in our blue envelope number four? It's those five little speckled frogs. Are you ready to sing? Get your five frogs for me. Five little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Four little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Three little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Two little speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Glub, glub. <coughs> one little speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating the most delicious grubs. Yum, yum. He jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. We've got one song left in our purple envelope. 
let's have a look. Purple envelope number five. And it is... Oh, it's those five little monkeys swinging through the trees. So we're about to get our five monkeys this time. Are you ready? <coughs> five little monkeys swinging through the trees. Teasing Mr Crocodile, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along came Mr Crocodile as quietly as can be. And snap went his teeth. Only four monkeys left. Four little monkeys swinging through the trees. Teasing Mr Crocodile, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along came Mr Crocodile as quietly as can be. And snap went his teeth. Three more left. Three little monkeys swinging through the trees. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Crocodile as quietly as can be, and snap went his teeth. Two more. Two little monkeys swinging through the trees. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Crocodile as quietly as can be, and snap. Went his teeth. One monkey left. One little monkey swinging through the trees. Teasing Mr. Crocodile, you can't catch me, you can't catch me. Along came Mr. Crocodile as quietly as can be. And snap went his teeth. No more monkeys swinging through the trees. I'm going to head over to craft time now. And whilst I'm setting up, why don't you head over to story time where we have a mystery guest who's not a very nice guy this week. But I shall see you in a minute straight after you've seen our story. I'll see you soon. I am so angry. This man is destroying my money-making schemes. It was all going so well till he turned up. Who am I talking about? That Jesus. Listen to what he did. The people come to the temple to worship gods with doves. And we tell them that their doves are not good enough for God. So they must buy ours. So poor as they are, they buy our doves. But greedy as we are, we tell them they must pay with temple money, not regular money. So they exchange their money for our money. Every two coins they give us, we give them one. We're making money. Well, we were making money. Lots and lots of money from these poor people. It was great until he came along. When he saw what we were doing, he flipped over our tables, released our doves, and returned the money we stole to the people. He said we had turned a place of prayer into a hideout for thieves and cheats. He ruined our business. And for that, he will pay. Well, he wasn't a very nice man at all, was he? Wanting to get Jesus into trouble, even though Jesus was doing the right thing. It's not very good at all. So today, I thought we'd do a simple craft. I thought we'd do a picture. Now for your picture, 
you need a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen. Pencil works better because you can rub it out if you go wrong. But so that you can see it on camera, I'm going to use a pen. Now, a picture is going to be of one of the tables in the temple. So, to start with, we need to draw a table. So, I'm going to draw the tabletop, some legs coming down. So, so far, this is my picture, the top of a table. Now I'm going to just draw some simple coins on the top, because part of that story was Jesus tipping over the tables with all the coins on, so that the people in the temple couldn't sell them. So, some simple, simple circles. You might want to draw doves on your table, or you might draw your, want to draw your table on the floor after Jesus has tipped it over. Simple circles on mine. <coughs> so now I have a table with lots of coins on the top. Now you might want to draw somebody behind your table selling the coins to the poor. And that would help you to remember the story. But the important thing is that you've drawn a picture to help you remember that when the people were doing the wrong thing in the temple, they'd turn the temple into a money-making place instead of a place of worship. And when they were doing that, Jesus came in and he put a stop to it. He made it so that the poor could come and worship. And that is a fantastic thing. But that is where his trouble started. And next week, we're going to talk a bit more about how his troubles came about. But until then, have a fantastic week and I shall see you here for Music Tots next Friday. Bye bye.